Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Northrop Grumman's TX Trainer is seen for the first time. The CAF's refurbished F-14 Tomcat will debut this weekend. Money from the sky may be considered littering. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's August 24th, 2016, and this is Airborne Unlimited. If it was a secret, it isn't now, as a few images of Northrop Grumman's offering to replace the Air Force's T-38 supersonic jet trainer have appeared on the internet as the plane conducted high-speed taxi tests last week at the Mojave Airport in California. The aircraft was built by Scaled Composites under contract with Northrop Grumman FAA records indicate it is powered by a single 404 GE 102D engine, also known as the Model 400. The website CombatAircraft.com reports Northrop Grumman had initially planned to offer the Hawk Advanced Jet Trainer in the competition to replace the T-38 Talon that has served the Air Force for decades, but the company later opted for a clean sheet design when the full requirements were posted by the Air Force. The high sky wing of the commemorative Air Force in Midland, Texas, plans to unveil a refurbished Grumman F-14A Tomcat at its CAF air show this weekend. The airframe is notable as being the first F-14A to shoot down another aircraft in combat. On August 19, 1981, Commander Henry Kleeman and Lieutenant David Vinlet of the F-41 flew the aircraft of the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier during the Gulf of Cedra incident. The crew shot down a Russian-built Libyan Su-22 fighter jet during the conflict. Warbird News reports that members of the Navy Flight Deck Veterans Group have made great progress on Fast Eagle 102 over the past several weeks, and it will be formally unveiled at the CA air show being held on August 27th and 28th in Midland, Texas. After the break, helicopter publicity stunt may bring charges. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Errol TV, or our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at errol-news.net. Money falling from the sky seems like a lot of fun, but it didn't sit well with the local law enforcement and maybe the FAA. The pilot of a helicopter that dropped $1,000 cash on Wrightsville Beach in North Carolina may face charges of littering and flying lower than 500 feet over a populated area. The helicopter had been chartered by a company for a publicity stunt. The idea was to drop the cash on the beach where students who are returning to the University of Wilmington were attending their school's annual beach blast event last week. After viewing a video of the stunt, the Wrightsville Beach Police said that the town was considering multiple charges, which include littering against the high tide helicopters and the pilot. They are also coordinating with the FAA to determine if the, any federal laws were violated. The police chief said that in the video, it appears that the helicopter was flying about 100 feet above the ground. The company involved in the promotion and the helicopter pilot apologized for their actions. With some 2,000 Aerial TV programs webcast to cyberspace, Sometimes it can be fun to look back and enjoy some of the places we've seen, the flyers we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Errol TV classic episodes. Have you noticed that a couple hundred dollars invested in a tablet gives us more situational awareness than an entire avionics system? 
ANN's production of innovative product previews at AirVenture, Sun and Fun, and other venues have been a smashing success. In this video, we meet a new company that is breaking all of the rules when it comes to computer technology use in your aircraft. Search Evolution 2016 Sun and Fun on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, Control Tower closes because of high winds. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The aviation industry is full of news and we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The control tower at Narita International Airport in Japan had to close for about an hour on Monday. Typhoon Mindole paid a visit with the winds reaching about 78 miles per hour at the airport. About 400 flights were canceled. The U.S. and Mexico have issued a joint statement on the entry into force of an air transportation agreement made between the two countries in December of last year. The agreement removes limitations on the number of airlines that may provide passenger service in all U.S.-Mexico city pairs. According to reports, 22 Sikorsky S-92 and Augusta Westland AW189 helicopters purchased by the UK for emergency medical services can't land at many hospital helipads. The UK CAA has determined that the aircraft are too heavy to use elevated helipads. It's been reported that an FBI child sexting has resulted in the arrest of an FAA employee who was indicted last Tuesday on federal charges. The FAA employee, who is also a 20-year Army veteran, has pleaded innocent to the charges. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. The Wingsland Technology Company has just unveiled a new mini-drone. It's called the S-6, and it's launched in Beijing, China last week. The S6 is roughly the size of an iPhone 6 Plus in its folded form, featuring a 13 megapixel low distortion camera. The company says the S6 is the world's thinnest 4K drone, and it weighs in at only 8 ounces, including the battery. Wingsland says the S6 allows you to attach different functional accessories through extended port. There are three compatible modules for users to chew from, a toy gun, a searchlight, and an emoji display screen. All around obstacle avoidance module will be available later. The company is likening the S6 to a smartphone because they say it is light, smart, portable, and it has all the features that you expect in a drone, but more functions can be added through compatible accessories. It looks like this thing will get a pretty high rating on the cool meter. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.